Welcome back. Good news, the van's back. Let's have a look. She sat outside for a couple of years. So the, uh, the bodywork's taking a hammer in, but nothing that can't be fixed. And this is the main part. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll have seen this running. That's a 6.6 .6 litre Ford V8. With lots and lots of tuning bits. Mid-mounted, three-speed automatic. We've got a custom radiator in there. Genuine World War II porthole to access the filler cap. I can't really zoom in, but there we go. That is a broken compass that came from the top of a walking stick. There's a gear knob. Who needs to go uh, to know where they're going? MSD ignition. Ooh. I'll show you what's underneath. We've got a custom made large aluminium fuel tank there. It's about nine gallons. Rubber P5 back axle. Still a lot of work to do yet under there. The handbrakes need connecting up. And if we move forward slightly, you can see that it's mounted on a five link setup. There's four here and there's a panard rod across the back. Coilovers. A teeny tiny prop shaft onto a three speed automatic. Stainless exhaust, one on each side, block hugger, manifolds, that's the bottom of the engine. As you can see, I've got no clearance under there, but the front springs have been cut down, so I can put standard springs in there, and we're going for bigger wheels as well. And if we move around the front, now these vans originally had a big plastic grill there, which wasn't a grill, it was just a trim. So that's all been cut out. There's an air scoop for the radiator. And then the upper grill, which was the air intake for the heater, that's been ducted. When that's finished, that will be ducted into there as well for more air intake. I've managed to collect quite a few bits, waiting for the build. We've got a H4 headlight conversion with bulbs, set front period spotlights, and wiring kit. So I've got some roof marker lights as well, there's five in there. We've got a new rear fog light, and a reverse light. It was never fitted with a reverse light, so we're gonna put one on. We've got a main relay, and a, and a little switch that we can hide. Got a digital voltmeter with USB and 12 volt sockets. I've had these for nearly 20 years. These are blower vents from a British Army tank. Got the racing use only switch pack. Set of Jeep wheels that had the middles machined. Now, the ones that look like a deeper dish are actually for the front, less inset on them. The 16 inch wheels. So for the rears, we've got a swamp cooler. I've had this a number of years. It's been on the van a few times. It's a good talking point. Picked up a 1970s style, if I just tip the camera. Split sunroof. It's a tilt sunroof. Also got an interior light in it. That may go on, it might not. It might leak like a sieve. We've got the roof rack. The modified front grille I mentioned earlier on. See all that? has been cut out to let air flow. These are the best bits. MGF seats, 99 pence from eBay. You can get a bargain. This one's gone on the edge there. But I've picked up some seat covers, so that's not a problem. And in true 1970s style, I'm going to try and incorporate this sideboard. It's 19, late 1960s, early 1970s. I bought it because of this reason here. And I'm hoping that we can incorporate the pull-out drinks cabinet. Because, well, why not? I'd like to thank you for watching. 
and uh, like and subscribe and there'll be plenty more updates to come over the next few months.